Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low level fatal error or fatal error, or if you're receiving this error, the UE MGS Delta has crashed. So if, now the first step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So if you have a multiple monitor setup, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Also try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in dash DX12 over here. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try dash DX11, then you can check still not working. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to try power saver mode. So for this uh, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel, go to hardware and sound, click on power options. Now over here, I have only balanced. In your case, you might see this uh, power saver. So select power saver, launch the game and then check. You can even go for balanced or high performance. Check which one is working fine for you. But first of all, try power saver and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to install Intel Extreme Tuning Utility Software. Now, once you install this, you can search in Google. Uh, if you don't have it, if you have it, you can just launch it. Or you can go to website and you can install it. Download this and once the download is complete, run the exe file, install it. Now once you install it, now once you launch it, here you can see performance score ratio. You can, if this is set to like 58x or maybe 59x, you can lower it down to 55x, maybe 54x, maybe 53x. Try to lower down performance score ratio and then hit apply. And then you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, click on graphics settings over here and then go to advanced graphics settings. And if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on. If this is already on, then turn it off and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Next step is to turn on, turn off Steam overlay. Now to turn off Steam Overlay, you can make a right click on the game, select properties and if enable the Steam Overlay while in, while in game, if this is on, turn it off and then check. If you have Discord running, you can go to Discords. So open Discord, you might see it hidden, hidden over here and then you can go to settings and then you will see game overlay over here. Uh, you can turn off overlay. You can select the option, whatever you want, and then click on submit. You can turn off all the overlay. Now, once you turn off overlay, now close Discord. Whenever you want to enable, you can always enable it once you're done playing the game. If you have NVIDIA app running, then you can go to NVIDIA app settings. And then if NVIDIA overlay, if this is on, turn it off. And then you can close NVIDIA app. So if it is running, close it. Now, if you have any other overlay application, close it. So close, uh, turn off overlay and then close all the overlay application. Next step is to delete config folder. To delete, delete the config folder, when you delete it, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, users folder, open your username folder, open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show. Put a check on hidden items, open app data folder, open the local folder and then find, you will find this MGS Delta. Open the saved folder. Uh, in my case, I have just renamed it. So uh, this is the, uh, this is the older one. So open MGS Delta, then saved. And over here, you will see config folder. You can delete it or you can rename it. In my case, I have already renamed it to config.old. So you can either delete it or you can rename it. Once you rename it or delete it, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to try window mode. If you are able to launch the game, you can try window mode. So once you launch the game, you can go to options over here and then go to graphics. Now over here, select window mode. So if this is set to borderless or full screen, you can try window mode and then apply the settings and then you can check. Now the next step is to set BU sync to false or true. So go to the config location once again, windows. So go to this location and then 
over here you can see game user settings make a double click on game user settings and then uh, over here find this we use v v sync so here you can see b uh, use v sync if this is set to true like if this is true uh, you can set it to false type in false over here and then go to file and then click on save now if this is already set to false uh, in that case you can type in true over here so try both true and false and check which one is working fine for you for many users setting it to false has worked so you can try this go to file and then click on save and then make a right click on game user settings go to properties put a check on read only over here and then hit apply click on ok if you want to make changes next time you can uncheck read only and then you can make changes now still not working uh, you can enable vsync in nvidia control panel so you can launch nvidia control panel or you can go to the desktop make a right click on the desktop and then click on show more option then you will see nvidia control panel click on manage 3d settings go to program settings and over here click on add and if you see the game in the list you can find the game in the list if you see the game select the game from the list if you don't see the game then you can click on browse and then you can go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file uh, this one whichever uh, there are three exe files so if you find the game in the list that would be great you can see the game over here so click on add selected program now over here select high performance nvidia and then over here find v sync vertical sync and if this is like on you can uh, turn off the enable the v sync sorry if this is off you can turn it on and then you can hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to unplug controller uh, you can switch to mouse to launch the game once the game is running you can connect the controller and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this you can type in view advanced system settings and then click on view advanced system settings under advanced click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab click on change over here uncheck this box over here select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size over here for initial size 1.5 into total ram now for this you can check ram in system in windows settings and then go to about in my case it's 16 gigabyte 16 gb ram so you have to calculate as per your ram so 16 gigabyte we have to convert this to megabyte 16 multiplied 1024 total in megabyte multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 24576 for maximum size that 3 multiplied total ram that is total ram is 16 in my case multiplied 1024 multiplied 3 that is 49152 49152 and then click on set set is important make sure that you click on set and then click on ok ok apply ok and then launch the game and then check if that does not work restart your computer once and then click on view advanced system settings if still not working this time you can click on first settings over here go to advanced select uh, click on change and then select system manage size and then click on set okay okay you have to restart your computer apply okay okay and then you will see re restart option restart your computer and then check if that does not work after the system restart in that case you can set it to default like go to settings advance change and then put a check over here and then just set it default and then follow the next step next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work open this folder binaries win64 make a double click launch the game from here and then check still not working go back again back open this folder binaries win64 make a double click launch the game from here still not working then make a right click on the game select go to this tab 
put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check over here select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step try to run the game as an administrator uh, you can try this make a right click run as administrator and then check if that does not work you can even try this exe pipe make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check now the next step is to if you have any third party antivirus like if you have Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, Kaspersky, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow all the exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to uh, privacy and security, and then click on Windows security, click on virus and threat protection, scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow, and then click on add and load app browser apps, and then go, do the same thing. So open the game folder and then select all the exe file. Click on open. Again, add in a lot of browser apps. Open this folder, binaries, Win64. Select this one, click on open. Again, browser apps. Go back and then again back, again back. Open MGS Delta folder, binaries, Win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Once it is app added, now type in control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and repeat the same process add all the exe file so first of all select this one open it add it in my case it is already added again click on browse and then go back and select open this one win64 select this one click on open and then click on add in my case i have already added again click on allow another app browse and then Go back, open this folder, binaries, Win64. The same way you have to add it to your antivirus program if you have any third party antivirus. Now once added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now select your graphic card over here. Uh, make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. And then on this page, you will see the latest graphic card at the very top. So whichever is the latest, in my case, it's 581.08. Click on view over here. And then you can, you can click on download. Once the download is complete, uh, you can uh, run the exe file, run this exe file. And then you will uh, click on yes to allow, then click on OK, then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer after the system restart launch the game still not working uh, amd card users do the same thing go to your uh, amd website and then select your graphic card update it restart your computer next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop app and select all the exe file and then click on add once the game is added, click on the game and then select high performance over here. So in my case, I have added all the three exe files. This one I have added. Again, you can go back and then you can open this one. Binary is Win64, select this one. Again, click on add and then here you can see the game. Click on the game and then select high performance. And again, uh, click on um, graphics, add desktop app and then select the first exe file this one and then click on add and again uh, you add all the exe file and then high performance now you can launch the game next step is now for desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card to your like uh, if you have uh, if your computer has a dual graphic card one is intel another is nvidia make sure that you select the graphic card to the and dedicated graphic card slot now the next step is to roll back graphics driver now if if the latest one is not working in that case uh, you can uh, once you select your graphic card you can uh, click on s uh, view more version and you can try maybe different uh, the oldest one 580.88 or maybe 577 older 
So you can try to roll back graphics driver, but when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next and then check. Still not working, verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. Next is to install visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in the browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, you will see visual studio files. Like here, you can see x86 and x64. You have to download both the files. So download it and then run both the exe file. Click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x86 file as well. Again, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, make sure both are installed and then restarting again. After the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter which you are not using, disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Riva Tuner, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the problem. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.